Hello everybody, I'm Di Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're doing a video that is a follow-up to a short video that I posted not too long ago on the Walther PTP Pro SD Compact. Not long ago I posted a video on the full-size version of the PTP Pro SD and this time we take a look at the compact. Before we dive into it, I'd like to correct something that I said on that short. I did not misspeak. I simply made a mistake and I want to correct it because I was called out on it uh, by several comments and rightly so. That was relating to the mags and what I need to correct is they come not with 15 round mags but they come with three 18 round mags as you can see here with an aluminum base pad base plate and the base plate was specifically designed so there's no risk of damaging the gun with over insert insertion when you have the magwell, the way the whole thing was designed. So I wanted to correct that right away. Thank you for those that called it out. And it comes with three 18 round mags, both the compact and the full size, both come with three 18 round mags with the aluminum base plate. So now that we got that out of the way, let's dive into this. The Walther PDP Pro SD, uh, the original one, I completely fell in love with it. And as I said on that video, or if you didn't see it, I was not very kind to the original PDP. The trigger was great, but I just, it just didn't wow me. It, it just didn't. But something about this whole package, it just really worked for me. The way my hand fits in this grip with the magwell, how it re really, really molds into my hand. And the extra contour of the magwell pushes my hand even a little bit further. It gives me a fantastic grip. And of course, this is me with my medium sized hands. I can see how somebody that has bigger hands or big, you know, really big hands, this space, this the available, the real estate that is available here with the magwell may actually be quite a bit uncomfortable. But let's start at the beginning. What is it? It's a nine millimeter striker fired pistol, of course. And it, the compact has a four inch slide with a four and a half, actually it's 4.6 inch threaded barrel. One of the differences, and, and one of the few differences with a, with a full size is that the full size comes with a 5.1 inch threaded barrel, okay? and on a 4.5 inch slide. So to make it easy, you've got a 4.5 inch, um, inch barrel on the full size, and you've got a 4.6 inch on the compact. That, those are the major differences. Uh, they have the same sights. You have a steel slide with a super terrain serrations that they call it, but they're very workable. They work very well, especially if you got a red dot on top. And since we're talking about the red dot, this also has uh, the optics cut that it comes with. The red dot sits, sits pretty low on it, but it also has the recoil boxes, the new design that Walther did for this because the original PDP or the, the cut was completely smooth inside. So the only thing that was there to absorb the recoil, uh, the forces of the recoil on the red dot was just the two mounting screws, nothing else. So Walther redesigned this, and now we've got some recoil, recoil boxes in there. So a better design overall. And staying up here, the sights, same as the other PDP Pro SD, you've got fully adjustable plastic sights. Three dots, white dot at the front, two dots in the back, and like I said, fully adjustable, uh, but plastic. The redeeming quality is that they are Glock compatible. So any Glock sight you can throw up there and it'll work right just fine. Since we're up here at the front of the, of the gun, the threaded barrel, I don't use uh, silencers. Um, it's just a personal issue with me because something that should be free, the government makes you pay a tax stamp to own something that should be free to own. And I just have a problem with that. So 
but anyway, different conversation. Getting back to this, I don't I don't have a need for the threaded barrel, but I may start to look into compensators and see with that. I have to see which ones, who makes them for the Walther, and who are the best ones to try. You can see here that it's got the stainless steel guide rod from ZR Tactical Solutions. The original guide rod is here, and this is plastic. That is one disappointing part of it. You got a plastic guide rod, but you install the one from ZR Tactical Solutions, and it's got the 13 pound spring versus, I believe, the factory is 18 pounds. So they come very tightly sprung. And let me tell you, like I did with the full size, excuse me, installing the 13 pound spring with a metal guide rod made a world, a world, world of difference. Absolutely love it. It is very smooth shooter. You can see you can move it very easy. But under recoil, it's just smooth as butter. The one problem that I've been having is with the thread protector here. Even though I've put a ring around it, it still walks out on me. So if I end up not putting a compensator on it, I'm just going to Loctite it blue and hopefully that'll help a bit. But if you, like I said, if you have any suggestions on compensators, I would very much appreciate it. Again, a little bit out of my wheelhouse, but I want to learn. I'm letting you walk around it. Not much different. The other thing that is, I should be obvious, if you didn't see the other video, my other gun was uh, all black. This gray, this tungsten gray, as they call it, it's gorgeous. I, I just love it. I think it plays very good. And for me, for my purposes, I don't have much of a preference between the compact and the full size. I can go either way with it. But this, the color of it made a big, big difference for me. So I really liked it. You got a three slot pick rail at the front so you can hang any lights, lasers, whatever you want. Um, I have several lights here that I can show you, but that would be modifying a modern firearm. And we're not allowed to do that. But you can hang anything you have you want here. You got your take down slides. It's sort of like Glock. The only thing here is if your hands are a little bit sweaty, they're, it's not the easiest thing to get a hold of but they work. You got your slide stop, slide release. I, just like with HKs and other ones, other manufacturers that have the surf boat, uh, <laughs> you know, it is so long. So with my grips forward, it's very easy for me to ride. And I, I try not to, I really do. If I modify my grip, then I don't. But I revert to my thumbs forward and I'm always writing the slide stop, slide release. But they're just very, it's very long. It happens to me also with HKs and it's happening me to me with Canic. But it's fully ambidextrous. The mag release is reversible. And going back to this side, you can see that it's textured. It's got a nice texture to it. It also has a nice lip over here to protect it for uh, so you don't have an accidental discharge, I mean, ejection. We all, you know, we have to guard against those. And since we're here at the grip, you're going to see that it's got those hexagon for texture. It is very, very nice. I also like it that they go all the way to the top. A lot of them stop the texture about their quarter or three quarters of the way up and then don't give you texture up here. So for Walther, they're very good about that. You've got texture all the way up to the top. You've got... Uh, less aggressive serrations in the front and the back has the same serrations as you have on the sides. Um, just personal preference, I wish they would have continued the same texture all the way to the front. I really do. This is a little bit less aggressive and this is when you know you have a lot of traction here as the gun is under recoil. So I don't understand why they put less aggressive serration in the front than they did on the side. The other nice thing about it, if the camera will catch it, is you can see it's actually the finger grooves are more on the side, you can see here, than they are in the front or back. So your hand, when your fingers wrap around, and at least mine, they fit perfectly, absolutely perfectly 
on those finger grooves that are on the sides. The side panels are not removable. It comes with three interchangeable back straps. So you can go small, medium, large, that's fine. The sides are not removable, but they've got these finger grooves on, finger grooves on the side that are just absolutely wonderful. Okay. And star of the show here, and the gun has been safety checked, is the trigger. The same as it was in the PDP Pro uh, full size. You got here your dynamic performance trigger, which is different than the original PDP, which is the performance duty trigger. Everything was performance duty on the other one. In here, you got a skeletonized safety, dingus, like some channels like to call it. And you can see it completely disappears into the shoe. The shoe is not 100% flat, flat. It's got this little horn at the bottom, but it cups your finger, at least my finger, perfectly. Puts it in the right position, and it lets you guide it all the straight back. So it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling trigger. It's very smooth. You don't feel any grit, any sort of mechanical interference so as it is it's engaging with a mechanism. You don't feel it. It's just a seamless transition. In this one, Walter says in their website that it's pulling, it's supposed to be at 5.6 pounds. This one is pulling consistently between four and three quarters and five pounds. But to be honest with you, it feels like less than that. And let's take a look at it. it the dingus disappears. There's your wall. So you got that travel and it is smooth as butter. And then you break four and a half, four three quarters, somewhere in there. There. And then you reset. That's all it goes. Smooth. You're at the wall. Breaks. Yes, you saw that right. It's just incredible. It really is. And then you couple this fantastic trigger with the 13 pound spring from ZR Tactical and the way this thing cycles and just comes right back to center, right back to where it needs to be. Red dot never leaves the window. It's just spectacular. That's all I can tell you about that. Absolutely love it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the grip area and we're going to take a look at the magwell. The magwell is removable and that also changes how that interf interfaces with the mags. And what I'm talking about is whether you can use regular Walther PDP magazines that are 15 round mags or do you have to stay with the supplied 18 round mags because if you try to insert let the focus catch up this is the regular Walther PDP or PPQ M2 mags come on focus and if you want to use them in the Pro SD it will not work the 15 rounders will not work because see if I'll catch up the base pad of the mag hits the magwell so there, there's you can't make it work see that and if you're looking at the supplied 18 rounds you see how it fits perfectly and even using the base pads from ZR Tactical Solutions on the 15 rounders with a magwell it will not work Love these, by the way. so now let's go back to the tabletop after I remove the magwell and by the way YouTube that's what it's made for so you have a choice from the factory. You can run it with this, Walther part, or you can run it without it, Walther part. Okay? 
So there's this doesn't what I'm going to do next doesn't violate any of your arbitrary policies. All right, guys, give me a second. I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, we have removed the magwell. Let me put this down for a second. And here's the aluminum magwell that came comes with it. Let's see if the focus will catch up a little bit. There you go. It was very easy to remove. You can see where it hooks. And to show you a little bit of detail, let me get this out of the picture so you can see better, is those are the cutouts that I was mentioning to you earlier. So you can see how the magwell is cut out. So when it's installed in the, in the pistol, and you can actually, if you need to remove the magazine for whatever reason, to, un, you know, for, to clear a malfunction, whatever you need, it actually, it is not completely across. You have the indentations where you can grip it. So very nicely thought there by Walther. And going back to the pistol here, all you have to do, and I can't show you because you know how YouTube is about things like this, even though it, the pistol is made for this, it would be considered a modification in YouTube. It just doesn't like that. But all you'd have to do is pop this pin out, and the magwell would come just straight up. Very, very easily done. But that's kind of what it looked like, if you remember. So it comes straight up. And now what this allows us to do is you have, as we mentioned, the 18 round mags that come with it. And you have to use those if you're gonna be using the magwell. So you got your mags, as you can see here, 18. So you can carry 18 plus one. And very easily, and you have to be careful because you you have to be, make sure, come on focus. You have to make sure that they're using, you're using the PDPs with a base plate that was made for them. So you don't have any problems, you don't risk over insertion and hurting the pistol. But once you've removed the magwell, you can use the regular Walther PDP 15 round mags. As you can see there, this is a 15 rounder. It's got the base plate from ZR Tactical Solutions. As you can see there, this is the regular PDP mag or the Walther PPQ mag, so it's the same. This is your standard base plate and this is your ZR Tactical. They're all machined in-house and just aluminum, just beautifully made. And I love the way they look. Let's see, it just looks very nice. That's what the pistol looks like with a 15 round mag. And just to show you, I have these laying around, but this is Walther PDP, uh, Walther mags and it fits for the PPQ, M2, and for the PDP. Okay, so it's gotta be the PDP, um, the PPQ, I'm sorry, M2. The M1 will not work. Okay, so that's what it looks like with regarding the mags with a regular base plate and the regular 15 round mag. That's what it looks like. And once again, with a ZR Tactical Solution base plate. Just, I just like that a lot better. And for me, this is the way it's gonna stay. The only advantage that for, for my purposes, and again, you do you, this is for my purposes, the only advantage that I have for the Magwell is it really, when it was installed here like that, it really provides a little bit extra rest for my pinky and help my, my hand get into the gun. But other than that, I like it just like this. Let me show you on both sides. Since we're in this area, and before I forget, one of the, I guess, talking points or marketing points 
that Walther had when they first came out with a PDP was this little lip down here. And they were saying that the whole gun was designed, like it was a new concept, was designed for you, for the red dot, and for let, to let you acquire the, the red dot a lot quicker. And the premise behind it was that as you put pressure with your pinky, it helped, like by magic, automatically align the red dot into the window. So all you had to do is squeeze with your pinky, and the acquisition of the red dot would be a lot quicker. Now, if you even if you're a fan of Walther, if you follow them for a while, this is nothing new. They've had those since the P99. So I should have brought the P99 out, but if you put them both together, you can see how this is very much borrowed from the original design of the P99. So it's not, nothing new. Can't blame them for the marketing, but it's, it's just nothing new. The other thing, one issue that I've had with this is that even though I've put a couple of O-rings and I'm going to have to put some Loctite or something, um, I don't use suppressors. I refuse to give the, the government money for something that should be free to own, constitu constitutionally protected. Uh, so I, anyway, different conversation. I don't use suppressors, so I really don't have use for the comp for the threaded barrel. I may put a compensator on it, but until then, I, even though I put an O-ring, it keeps backing up on me, and uh, so I may have to put some Loctite and just keep it like that. And um, so that's about it. That's all I have for you for this Walther PDP Compact, and uh, it's a PDP Pro SD Compact. Um, there was a lot of requests for for the review after I, did, I posted that short on YouTube. And here it is. Absolutely love this pistol. I would love to hear your comments on it. Let me know what you think of the compact versus the full size. And like I said at the beginning, I just loved, loved this gray uh, frame on it. All right, my friends, that's all I got for you today. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can on Wednesday mornings as well. Please remember that I, I'm pretty active over on Instagram, and there you can see everything that's coming down the channel way before it hits YouTube. I would appreciate a follow there as well. We're on our way to 15,000 subscribers, and I'm very, very thankful and humbled by your support and how you're helping me to grow this. If you're here for the first time, YouTube tells me that about 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. It's more like 85%. So if you like what I do, if you'd like to support the channel, something that doesn't cost you at all, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. It would help me a lot. So that's it for today. I look forward to your comments as always. That's my favorite part of the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And until the next time, God bless.